<laughs> oh, what? Grizzly Airfield. Open soon. What? Why, Disney? Just, just, just why? Why would you do this to me? I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm not actually crying over anything. So, um, yeah, that was a really, really awkward intro. So, welcome to uh, another video. My name is Mr. B3Cube, and um, so uh, many of you may have been expecting an update for the Sword Project recently, which, believe me, it's been going. Don't worry, it has been going very slowly but surely. So, uh, like my little uh, monument here, um, basically. Uh, this has been something that's been uh, expected for a while. Uh, I've been reading up on the Disney news um, lately, ever since like Christmas of last year, and Disney was talking about redoing Soarin' Over California to merge Condor Flats and um, Grizzly Peak, because they both have one ride, and they wanted to make it a more universal theme. So, I present to you the new and improved Soarin' Over California. Booyah. So, it's not quite done yet, as you can see there are some light posts that are needing to be updated still. But other than that, I've completely converted the uh, building to green, and because it no longer has the awesome logo, it just has the letters on the front, I just did that with banners. And I love, because the prismarine just fits so well, like I'll put a picture up on screen. And so yeah. That's, it, it looks very good together, I should say. So, um, on the inside, nothing's changing, um, except for the fact that I actually lost the files to my texture pack. So, there's no longer going to be any of these awesome textures right here or anything, and I just realized there are those red blocks right there. Um, I actually have been using a mod to build this all. It's called the Bacteria Mod, one of my favorite mods in the entire world now. Um, you may or may not have heard of it. It basically allows you to... Uh, switch out various kinds of blocks and that's how I was able to do this uh, so quickly I actually did this all today and um, yeah you'll notice there's a lot of stuff back here that's missing uh, don't worry you won't see it in the video so I'm just gonna hide that no shame. Uh, this little tree grove here that's going and uh, this little line here I'm gonna change a little bit uh, basically yeah Disney decided to change it all to foresty themed and um, I was actually just playing around with a bunch of lighting ideas uh, if you have a good idea, let me know, because I'm really struggling to make these look like the ones in the picture. Um, and, like, for instance, I'll get some dark oak slabs here, if I can find some. Uh, dark. Okay. So, uh, basically, I was experimenting around with this fence design. I was also doing something like that, seeing if that looks good. But if you look back at the picture, it doesn't exactly look right. I don't know why. It just doesn't seem right to me. So, we'll see. Uh, I will be planting spruce trees all around and just ignore this crafting table here. That's nothing. Um, but yeah, so uh, you can expect some good things to come. I am going to be uh, refilming a couple of the portions. I don't think I've shown the audience anything yet, um, except for like a couple of parts. But um, the final project will be about in, uh, at worst, maybe October, maybe. I certainly hope not. I really hope not because this is this has been going on for a while now, and I really need to finish it. But um, yeah, so uh, let me know what you think of the new uh, change uh, that Disney is planning in um, in the comments below. Also, should I change this road as well? Because I mean, it took a while to get that curve looking good, but I mean I don't know. I don't remember exactly based on the picture um, because the picture was actually sent um, by a good friend of mine. Um, when he was actually at Disneyland because there aren't really that many good pictures on the internet right now for the actual ride at the moment. Uh, but my friend happened to be there recently and he has a picture, so he let me use that and I was like, yay. So, yeah. A um, couple mods installed just because I've been playing with Agent Mini Man on the Beautiful World Mod Survival. Uh, go check out his channel. He's one of the biggest contributors to the project at the moment. And um, today I also was able to finish the Yosemite portion, and uh, I don't remember what the other part's called, but it's basically a part with a golf course where it's like catches you by surprise and the golf ball just comes swaying at your face. So yeah, uh, Agent Miniman helped out a lot with that, so big thanks to him. 
uh, go check out his channel and Beautiful World Mod Survival because I am a cameo in that. Well, not like a cameo, I'm just kind of a, a guest star, I guess you could say. I don't know what I am, but you know, I'm in it, so go check it out. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, miniature video, little update on the Soren Project. And as always, be sure to subscribe, stay cool, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.